Do you want to know how you can create a navigation menu but without having to use the WordPress settings at all? Well, come on, let me show you. We're going to build a menu that looks exactly like this one. You can see with this large section with this cool scroll thingy and you know cool design and everything and the best part is that we're not using the wordpress settings at all entirely built with thrive architect come on let me show you here we are on the landing page and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a header on this page because inside the header we're going to place the actual menu so create a new header i'm going to choose this one which has basically the logo on one side and the menu on the other side so header uh, why, am, why am i writing like this header something the best name ever add new header <laughs> i have no idea sorry you are not allowed to create global elements with the same title well, it seems that I've named another one like this, 011. That should work. Absolutely. So here we have it. Now we're going to click on edit header and uh, we already have a custom menu here, but I'm going to quickly remove it just so that I can show you all of the options, right? And we're going to add the custom menu element, place it inside this column. Now, up until now, you could only use a standard drop down menu in Thrive Architect. But with the latest update, you can use this mega menu that we call, you know, with the, it has basically these large sections that you can add on your navigation menu. So it's pretty cool. Choose that one. Choose a custom menu, not WordPress, obviously. Ugh. And now we're going to choose a template. All of these templates were made by our design team. So you know they're great so yeah i'm gonna choose this one right off the bat you can you know you can see it's pretty much like a normal menu but if i hover over this element as you can see this section shows up but i really don't like the animation so good thing is we have a couple of animations for this section to show up right so we're gonna go on the sidebar and right here we have drop down animation so let me click on this one is my favorite slide down one right comes down basically like this you know it shows up and then it goes back up really good and now you have a couple of other options as well you know you can uh, change the template if you change your mind you have all of those cool templates that you can choose from the spacing you know you can change all that i'm gonna leave the horizontal as it is but i'm gonna decrease the vertical spacing just a bit and I'm going to show you why later on in this video. And also the icon, that icon right there, you know, instead of the carrette, you know, you have all of these cool icons. I'm going to choose the angle, simple as that, right? Now we get to the most important part, right? Menu items. This is basically the structure of the menu. You know, you can set it up here. So first of all, we're going to remain, rename them. Remain, rename. Okay, so the first one shall be let's say the blog, right? You want to display your uh, your blog, a hyperlink to your blog on there, right? You can add a URL as well and people will be sent to your blog. There we go. Now, the second one can be, I don't know, let's say courses, right? Maybe you have uh, a bunch of online courses on your website or products, or you can basically add anything. These are all hypothetical, right? They don't exist. The next one can be something like members right this can be the members only area where they can find a lot of goodies and the last one let's say about up uh, about about us about us okay so open a new tab it's great to open a new tab because in that way you know they don't have to come back to this page they have uh both pages open right so it's 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 safer that way now the actual structure now as you can see this uh this area here that has all of these items that are a bit inward this means uh you know this represents the section right that that shows up right here right so if you want to add more items to the other uh menu elements as well you can always add a new one right here add new this will add a new item that will be placed at the bottom here and you know this can be placed wherever you want to you know you can add it 
as a sub sub item like this and then it will be placed basically right there right and you know on the other hand you can just drag it and you can place it like this right then it will be another item like this now obviously you can customize this and make it look however you want you know you can drag it like this and you know this can give us more space like that so this basically means that you can structure your menu exactly how you want right if you want more space on the header for example you can remove the logo and you know display only your menu items in there but now the question is how do you make this appear on other landing pages as well well i'm going to show you that plus one other cool thing related to scroll behavior because when you want to scroll down on this page you want to you don't know, you don't want this to to let the the header remain at the top of the page so quickly show you that as well you've probably seen it already but it's still really cool i have selected the header using the breadcrumbs very important always use the breadcrumbs found at the top of the page so i've selected the the header right so not the background section but the header and basically i'm going to go to scroll behavior here on the sidebar and here you have these three options static is right now if you scroll down you you won't see the header anymore right if you choose sticky then your header will remain placed at the top of the page you can only see this on preview i'm going to show you in a second but you also have this appear on scroll up option which is what i'm going to choose uh, for this example i'm going to click on done here and i'm going to click on save work and i'm going to show you how this works so go to preview and see it all right so here we are on preview now if we scroll down as you can see the header will not be seen anymore and this is a good thing because it will not take up so much of your visitors viewport right especially if he has for example a smaller screen laptop then he doesn't have a lot of screen to see right and if you place the header in there that could take some of his space but if he scrolls down then the header will be seen again and that's sort of acceptable in my book right but if you want to, you can choose the sticky option as well. So it's a cool thing that the header allows you to do this. Now, the last part, how to make this header show up on other landing pages as well. So here we are on another landing page and all we have to do is simply load our header. So we'll go to settings, global. As you can see, global means that, you know, they're all over your site. So header and among the saved headers we're going to look for our one which was this one header something 011 and if i scroll up as you can see it is just the header that i saved and you can load this on any uh, landing page or any of your pages uh, that you want to display this menu on and that can be your home page that can be you know any of your product pages for example you can use them uh, without having to use the wordpress uh, menu option at all right now soon with a thrive theme builder you'll be able to use uh, navigation menu uh, items that are custom made in the thrive theme builder on your posts as well right so that would be really cool as well now last but not least let's see how this menu looks on mobile because that's very important as well so we're back on our initial landing page and first of all let's check the tablet now by default the menu will be transformed into this hamburger icon right that you can see right here but if you don't want it to be displayed like that you can always click on edit header and select the simple mega menu and display it as an, an horizontal menu right as simple as that and basically you know it will show up almost like it does on a desktop and now if we check mobile here i would recommend you use the hamburger option right because you obviously don't have space if you want to sure you can but yeah i i don't want to use it like that so it's cool that you have all of these options so to see how it looks now here we cannot click on it but you have the option here to see 
uh, how it looks. You have multiple options how you want to display it on mobile one uh, when someone clicks on the hamburger icon. So for now you have off screen right, you also have the option uh, off screen left, simple drop down which is my favorite or if you want to uh, cover the entire screen you can select full screen overlay so it will show up like this but I'm going to choose drop down and now you know uh, you can always uh, basically the the visitor can see the some of the page some some from the page as well and if he clicks on courses as you can see they will be displayed like this and each uh, sub section will have a certain drop down as well which will open up more items on this uh, on that particular section as well basically this is how it works right this is how the uh, new mega menu works in thrive architect make sure to use it you know if you want to create a larger uh, menu section for example on on your website and you know you can do this without using wordpress at all so that's really cool so make sure to use it if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel as well to be up to date with all of the next feature updates and all of the other tips and tricks that we offer uh, through our videos so that being said see you guys in the next video